good shot. You're going to have to stay up late tonight if you're going to have any chance of seeing With the moon. the fog, right? Is that yeah, the fog, going? low clouds. I yeah. think we'll finally burn it off as soon as we get some of that dry air in here. Take a look at the current satellite picture. This is the visible picture, and this is how the clouds look from space. There you have it. So lots of low-level cloud cover, some fog. Now, dry air is to our north. It's going to take a little while to move in here, so just rest assured it will finally clear out. I know everybody probably wants to see some sunshine. I think we'll get it tomorrow, and temperatures are going to be cooling off. Our front now in the Gulf of Mexico, just kind of hanging out there right now. You can see there was some rain earlier in this 12-hour loop just off the coast. All of that, all of that has moved eastward. So lows today, see these are some of the early numbers, 60 degrees in Slidell, 59 at New Orleans International, and these actually occurred in the afternoon. The high temperatures right after midnight, 67 at New Orleans International and 66 in Slidell, and the temperatures have been falling ever since. We bottomed out right around the upper 50s to low 60s, and then we've been kind of hanging out there. Now let's talk about what we can expect over the next seven days. I call it the roller coaster ride of high temperatures because that's what it looks like. We're going to be down in the trough here. We go up, throw your hands in the air, scream as you go down 56 on Monday, 68 next Wednesday. But the take home message here is keep the coat handy, keep the umbrella handy and keep the sweater handy as well because we'll go with varying degrees of cooler air. Right now we've got 59 in Hammond, Bogalusa, 60 in Slidell, 61 in Galliano and right along the Mississippi Gulf Coast. We're in the lower 60s and 57 at this hour in Boothville. As you take a look at the wind speeds, uh, notice we do have that northerly component to the wind and um, I think we're going to keep that and that's when that dry air is going to start filtering in. Now let's start shifting gears and talk about what we can expect out on the west coast. Why are we showing you this? Because this big area of low pressure right now is going to cause all kinds of problems along the west coast. The snow in the higher elevations, heavy rain. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, the west coast picked up a few mudslides here and there. But this moisture that is currently moving on shore, this area of low pressure is going to set up in the, in the desert southwest and that's going to start tossing moisture our way and help bring our next chance of rain. So this is 1245. Take a look. You can see we still have the low clouds and fog, but by the time 7 o'clock, 730 rolls around here, I'm going to say sunny and cool. You can see we'll finally clear it out and we'll stay clear for about 24 hours. Unfortunately, as we get into the overnight hours tomorrow night, heading into Friday, the clouds which are going to be lurking offshore, the winds are going to shift. They're going to be onshore once again after a being out of the north, they're going to be moving out of the south. That'll start tossing that moisture our way, and we could looking at be looking at the chance for more low clouds and fog by the time we get into Friday, heading into Saturday, and then eventually into Sunday, which is going to be our next significant rain chance. I'll show you that in one moment. So low clouds and fog early, clearing later on, chilly and breezy. Temperatures, I think, by tomorrow morning will drop to the mid to upper 40s tomorrow afternoon. Lots of sunshine, upper 50s, low 60s, a little bit of breeze, north northeasterly winds, and your seven day forecast. Have a look. So, 58 tomorrow, 69 on Friday, could touch 70, and then 78 on Saturday, and there's rain right there, about a 70% chance it's going to rain could be looking at the chance for some severe weather, so stay weather aware and often on rain, as we say in the 50s, next Monday, Tuesday, and possibly on Wednesday.